You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to shake these these cats. You know what I'm saying these 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 are the big cats. You know what I'm talking about. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai. And double honor to the elder apostles of Great Milson that teach his truth well and that continue to teach his truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning. There's a big ass elephant in the room and everybody just wants to ignore it. There's a big ass elephant in the room. Okay, this lesson is going to be called... Whether you believe it or not, there are agents, there are infiltrators, agents and spies in mostly, ev every camp mostly, for the most part, in Great Millstone. And if you think there ain't, you need to wake up and smell the coffee. Okay, all the signs are there, every, all the signs are there. Okay, so we're just going to bring up scriptures, the scriptures said these things would happen. Because do you just think, oh, everybody in the truth, they're just going to be... Thou know, certain men they have an agenda, and their agenda is what? With this world. Brothers, brothers have to wake up, stop being so naive. I've always said this, what one, man won't, what one man won't do, another man will do. This is what times we are living in. Paul spoke about these things. Jeremiah spoke about these things. Isaiah spoke about these things. All the prophets spoke of these things. Yahweh spoke of these things. We don't just build up your character. We go into prophecy and we go into the prophecies of what? False brethren. Okay. Not everybody's about the truth. Stop being naive. Okay. Obviously you treat a man a particular way, brotherly, until he's out of the camp. But if you know someone is a spy and agent, you're not gonna have it, you're not gonna sit down and have a conversation with them. Why? <laughs> They're looking to gather intel. Let's quickly go to and the Lord's going to destroy men like this as well. And if you're partaking in it, if you're not saying anything, that means you're a partaker. That means you're partaking. Okay? If you're trying to hide these things, that means you're a partaking in his deeds. Because you're justifying it. You're not saying anything about it. Oh, let's just act like everything uh, is alright. Come on, man. Big ass elephant in the room. The whole vibe changes. When certain individuals come around. Well that's the spirit telling you that something is wrong. And this ain't personal. This is not personal at all. A lot of guys in the troop are just demonic. Demonic. And they have to be destroyed. And for you to be a spy and an agent. It shows you have no fear for the Lord. Shem, because if you had fear. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that in the first place. You wouldn't take bribes. You wouldn't take money. You wouldn't do that. Okay. So let's quickly go to Galatians, Baba Kashar, Galatians 2 and 4. And it says, and that because of false brethren. So there's false brethren in the truth. False brethren, unawares brought in, who came in privily to spout our liberty. So if someone's false, they're not real, they're not sincere. They're acting, they're hypocrites. So there's false brethren that are being brought in unawares. Brought in unawares and... The reason why it says unaware because they were really unaware of what it takes to be a man of the Lord. And because you may have a camp leader that didn't know, didn't realise, okay, that a man was an agent. And it's even worse, if you do realise a man's an agent and you're not saying anything, that means you're involved. How can you have a whole camp, an individual's been in the camp for what, nine years? And he may be an agent and nobody in the camp knows. Come on, man. That means there's there's an agenda going on. There's an agenda, and that's brothers that are that are newly into the truth and brothers that have been in the truth for a long time. If someone's asking you these very personal questions, where do you live? Where's this? Where's that? You don't need to tell them nothing. That's none of their business. Which we don't mind. I can, I can we can tell you it. If you want to know where we live, we can tell you that. But that's not going to change anything because at the end of the day, all we're doing is teaching this word. But there's going to be men in this truth. Their whole thing is to just gather intel. But we're going to go into it. Who came in privily. Privily means secretly. They snuck up in. To spy. 
out our liberty which we have in Yahweh and Masha that they might bring us into bondage. So you have men that came to what spy out what we were doing and bring us into bondage under who? The Romans. Esau. Why? Because you have men that are being compromised. You've got men that are working for a what? MI6 and all these different corporations. Okay. These, these, these um, what do you call it? These are uh, these governmental um there's a name for it, there's a name for it. These governmental buildings. So again, you have to be circumspect. Know who's laboring around you. And when we go into that word spy, one who acts cladded clandestinely or of false pretenses infiltrates. So for a man to get up in this trip, that's why it said unaware, that means he's infiltrated enemy lines with the intention of inquiring intelligence so what's that intelligence information about you so don't think for one second individuals that are claiming to be in the truth that are even maybe next to you ain't trying to gather up some type of form of intel about you and give that to Esau after camp or even before camp espionage or spying is the act of obtaining secret or confidential so it's a secret or confidential Okay, information from non-disclosed sources or divulging of the same without the permission of the holder of the information. That's a spy. That's a fucking spy. And these things need to happen. I'm not telling brothers to get bugged out. These things need to happen. A person who commits espionage is called an espionage agent or spy. And if you don't think they're in the truth, you better think again. Think. Wake up. Just watch how certain men move. And yeah, we examine ourselves. Because that's why the scripture says, examine yourself daily. But watch how certain men move. Okay? And a spy and an agent, he's going to be doing everything to what? To take the attention off himself. So these are the things you've got to pay attention to. Diversion. They're going to be doing a lot of diversion. A lot of trickery, manipulation. Because the MI6, they're what? They're um, COVID agents. They deal with what? Manipulation, mind, psychology. They're witches and warlocks. So the MI6, they're witches. If you're an agent, a spy, and you're trying to divert, you're on what? You're a witch and a warlock. And if you're siding that, here it is, the fucking elephant's in the room, and you're trying to, uh, you, you're turning a blind eye to that. That means you're with it. That means you're no different from him, and you're going to, what, suffer the same punishment. Let's go to John 11 and 48. What Yahabashah was going through. Oh man. Let's go straight to verse 47. Let's start at 46. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Yahabashah had done. This is when Yahabashah was doing a miracle. Okay. When he was raising people from the dead, doing all types of miracles, healing. When many of the Jews which came to Mary and said, the things which Yahushua did believe on him. So many did believe. But some of them, the wicked of our people. You, you, There's always one or two, see? In a group, there's always one or two. It could even be three. It could even be four <laughs> agents, okay? But some of them went their ways, like a bunch of serpents, okay? To the Pharisees and told them what things Yahushua had done, okay? Then gathered the chief priests. And the Pharisees, a council, and said, what do we, what are we going to do? For this man doeth many miracles. So they acknowledged the power that Yahushua had. But they were so demonic, so power hungry, want to hold on to Esau society, trying to uphold it. Okay, and it all comes, it really all comes down to money at the end of the day. It all leads to money, gain. Okay. So they said, what shall we do? And if we, if, he, if we let him thus alone, leave him alone, all men will believe on him. Yahweh Shai and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. So they were only concerned with what? Status. Their livelihood. Because they're what? They were the chief priests. They were what? Set up by the Romans. Esau, Edom. They were compromised. So of course, if a man and Lord in this, that's why you've got to speak the truth. Because you speaking the truth against all things, 
that's going to shake a lot of people up, especially those that have been paid off and bribed. And you're going to see that demonic nature come out of them. And they're going to try to shut you up. They're going to try to silence you. So that's what they were trying to do, basically. Silence Yahweh Shai because he was speaking the truth. And he was shaking up things. So those that are invested in this world, of course they're going to be shaken up. So how can you be a prophet of the Lord or teach his word, but you're compromised, but you're an agent, you're a spy? Are you going to have agents or spies or police officers that may come amongst us and may be converted? Yes, because that can happen. And there's accounts of that in the scriptures where Paul was teaching a deputy. But what's a deputy? An officer. So there is going to be accounts okay, where individuals come to this truth. Could be agent spies and they're so convinced that they join. But on the other hand, most of the time, no, 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 these, these individuals are there to, to, to try and cast you down. And it's being, as time goes on, it's being seen, it's more evident, more and more and more and more. Just because men may not say things straight away, but just believe this, men have spiritual discernment. And it's clear. Just watch, watch the videos. Okay, watch and just observe. But if you're not spiritual, they're going to be saying, no way, no way. You know, get off it, mate. You know, no way. In GMS, no way. No, this is going on. In the ranks, high in the ranks. Okay, that's why you've got to be what? Circumspect. And if you're a leader and you can't see that, you have men in your camp and you don't know a man's an agent or something's wrong, you should really step down. <laughs> okay? Because this is why, the reason why we're leaders, and we are leaders, every member of the elect, the hopeful elect, they're leaders. Because the Lord ain't just raising up followers and a leader is what? Born lead, he's going to take charge and he's going to judge righteously, not partially. There it is, uh, like I said, the elephant's in the room and you're not doing anything at all. Nothing. So they were more threatened about their place in this kingdom. So basically, in other words, they were like coons, they were like the black boule. They had their own society within Esau society. That's what they were concerned with. They were not concerned with getting out getting out here and the agent's just going to do bare minimum the agent's just going to do just enough to get the apostles of his back see this is how an agent works and to be an agent and spy you need to have some type of form of intelligence some type of form of intelligence okay let's go to matthews 22 and 15 this is real you think i want to do videos like this no I really want to go into other things, but this is needed because you need to warn brothers, those that are sincere. Because not everybody that comes into this truth us is sincere. Because if you really fear the Lord, you wouldn't be doing that. You wouldn't be doing that. Men doing videos, I've blown my cover. Yeah, you've blown your cover. Clown. I've blown my cover. you got men that will say, oh, come on your video, good video, good video, good video. But you're an agent. But that's alright because the Lord's just going to destroy you. Can't talk about loving your brother, but you have hate. All these things, a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of hypocrisy, but a lot of things are going to be brought out. And I can't force it because remember what the scriptures say, let the Lord's will be done. So in heaven, shall should it be up on earth. So this is about the Lord's will. It is frustrating because Yahweh Shai knew who Judas was. He knew. He knew who Judas was and he, he knew who believed he knew that who didn't want to, who didn't believe. That's why he was saying things to get certain individuals out of there. So he knew, and that takes a whole load of character to know someone is an agent, a spy, and he's still lingering about. That takes character, and that's where I've got to um, be patient because everything will eventually. You have a shovel get rid of individuals like this. It's happened plenty of times. Something will happen. There's certain calls that happen where you don't see these individuals again or set a judgment. What happened to them? So let's go to Matthew 22 and 15. Baba Kishar. Let's start at 14. For many are called, few are chosen. And we're hoping what we're called, but we're hoping we're chosen. Okay. Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. So just like that happened back then, it's the same thing again today. You're going to have men that take counsel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, li watch this video. Keep an eye on him. Make sure you keep an eye on him, you know. <laughs> then they might take counsel on how they might entangle him in his talk. What does entangle mean? Trap. 
So they were, you had individuals that were trying to trap Yahweh Shayak in his talk. This is how wicked our people are. This is, this is the depths of wickedness our people really are. Okay. Luke 20 and 20. I can't, I can't wait until that judgment comes. I can't wait. Of course I want my enemies to be dealt with. Even the enemies of my own nation. Of course. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want them to be dealt with. But you've got to be patient. And these agents, I haven't, I haven't put a curse on them because Yahweh has gone cursing. You know, I'm even careful with that. Luke 20 and 20. Let's start at. Ooh, let's start at 17 and beheld them and said, What is this then that is written? The stone which is the builders rejected, the children of Israel, the same has become the head of the corner. Because most of our people rejected Yahweh Shai. But he is what? The head of the corner. Whoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken. But on whom favor it shall fall, it shall grind him to powder. So when we're teaching this word, we're teaching it effectively. So those that get it, they're going to get it. Those that are offended, they're going to get grounded to powder. Because that's what this word's supposed to do. And verse 19, the chief priests and the scribes, the same hour, sought to lay hands on him. Why did they uh, sought to lay hands on him? Because see, what Yahweh just said, it cut them, it applied to them. Okay. So you have men that want to lay a hand on you. Even at camp. They want to grab you. If it was up to if it was up to them, see, that's why you've got to pray for protection as well. And they feared the people, for they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them. So they knew, because it said they, it, they perceived. So it, they were getting caught. It was nothing personal. It just it applied to them and they watched him that's a spy and sent full spies and that's spiritual because as i'm saying it's what have you got above my yard a helicopter and sent full spies which should feign themselves go into that word feign just men Myanmar. 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 Okay, Myanmar. Just like that should feign themselves. Bear me just a minute. Yeah, that should feign themselves. Bear me just a minute. Put it on pause. Yeah, so lucky about that. That should feign themselves. Okay. When bear me just a minute. When you go into that word feign. Type that in again. Strong's H forty eight twenty. Myanmar. 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 Okay. In the sense of deceiving. So these are men that are set up to deceive. That's their lot. That's their role. Okay. That is their role. Okay. You want to show love to your people, but that's why only concern with the elect. Deceit, deceitfully, false, guile, feint, craft, and craft. What does it craft go into? Witchcraft. So if you if you're pretending to be a man and lord but you're not, you're what you're manipulating, you're a witch. Okay, subtly treachery. So you're treachery, deceit, fraud, craft, feigned fool, subtil subtlety, treacherous, fraudulent, deceived, deceptive. You got men that can't even keep still when the word comes out. Oh, they want to dip off. Oh, the Lord sees you, man. Okay, but let the Lord's will be done. Okay, you gotta let things play out. One thing I was chatting to one brother about this is, um, you know, when you're in the world and obviously you see the niggerisms and all that. But in the truth, even Apostle Gabar said that the biggest niggers are in the truth, not in the world. The biggest niggers are in the truth. And no, we're not perfect. I make mistakes. I go off here and there. But the biggest niggers are in the truth. You'd be surprised. You'd think you come into the truth. This is where comfort is. But well, um, it's different. I hope I'm not putting brothers off as well that are new to this faith. But I've got to warn you if you're newly listening. It's, this is not all cookies and cream. They've done the same thing to Yahweh Shai. Our people are wicked. And that's why they need to be took, put out their misery. And they watched him and sent forth spies which should feign themselves. Pretend, act, feign, deceit, craft, just men. So these are not really just men. They're fraudulent. That they, and don't be deceived by a beard. So what if a man's got a big beard on his face? He's still a demon. 
that they might take hold of his words that so they might deliver him unto the power so what does this show you you're going to have individuals edit, editing clips watching your videos why did he say that remember what Yahweh Shai said destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days so they stumbled if a guy doesn't have understanding oh what what the temple he said he would destroy it committing him of, um, accusing him of what acts of terrorism he's speaking about his body just like with the whole that whole rape thing, the whole the rape the, the so-called rape doctrine. See, they, they, they said rape. That's why the scripture says you're of your father the devil. Okay, and you still haven't apologized for that. That's why the Lord's just gonna kill you. That so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. So it says deliver. So for they to, to deliver him unto the power and the authority is because they were under the authority of the Romans. They were doing side deals. Okay. And I refuse, to, I refuse to do the work with anyone that's paid off. That's an agent. Okay? Rightfully so. Because this guy's corrupted. And if you follow him, if you justify that, you're going to die right with him. Okay? So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And this is just to brothers to stay aware, to stay circumspect. Because we're in some evil, evil times. And the scripture said these things would happen. Until the next time. Shalom.